but this is equation number 31. Please read the question. Ara did three hours to finish the job. Here, Peter worked with her. The job takes only one hour, okay? Peter, it takes, we're gonna find this, okay? It takes X hours, X, we need to find this X. When they work together, it takes only one hour of you, okay? Uh, this is the hours to finish the job. Now the next one, we have to find the rate. Rate is what? What fraction of the job can be done per hour? All right, they take right three hours to finish the whole thing with one job. This is the one. One hour, one hour, one hour. Three hours. So every hour, he can finish one third of the job, right? This is reset rate. So one third already, let's break out the hours. This is a one over x. So one over one is still one. Some of this rate must be equal to one. So we got the equation equals to one. From here, you can find the value of x. One over x equals what? Two over three, okay? So x is a reciprocal at 3 over 2. So it takes 1.5 hours to finish the if he uh, Peter works alone. Okay? 3 over 2 or 1.5 is the answer. And number 2, we have 20 members. Yeah, they have printing a trip. There are the admissions, $10 per person. But they need to share 500. This is for the cost borrowing a bus. And uh, admission price for two supervisors. Right, they're going to pay for this one too. What is the cost in dollars for each admission? So total amount we have to find out. They're going to share, right, 20 members. What is total cost? First cost 500, it doesn't change. That's a fixed amount. So, what is total amount for the mission? Well, the mission ticket is 20 plus 2 is what you the supervisor. 22 times 10 is 220. This is for total amount for this trip. They're going to share this one 20, not 22, okay? So, 720 over 20 equals $36, okay? This is algebra, very simple question. Here is the number 33. We have a linear graph. F k is 1. This is the value of some value of k is 1. So we need to find the value of k because what? we need k over here. Okay? For what value of k the height is 1? Height is 1 only this point. This point, k is 1. So f of 1 equals 1. You know that, right? k is 1, this is how much? f of 1, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. What is the value of this one? This is negative 2. This is the value one, the value there, okay? Three, four, five, seven. This one. All right, number 34. The average of 2a plus b equals to 50% for 50% is what? Half of this one, 2b, right? 2a plus b. When you divide by 2, that's the average equals to 2b. For me, we can say that 2a plus b is what? 4b or 2a equals 3. Okay? For me, you can use right, some plug-in number. To be equal to more than number, if A is 3, B is 2, they're always equal. You can use this number. A to 3, B is 2, 1.5 or 3 over 2 is the answer. Or you can express A in terms of B, right? 3 over 2B. Put this number in there. 3 over 2B over B is still 3 over 2. Okay, either way, it's okay. Number 35 here. We have two cylinders. They're going to have the same volume. The radius of the second one is twice of this radius. This is R, so twice is 2R. But this is the height unknown number. You're going to find this height. Okay. So that the volumes of these two figures are equal. Okay. What is the height of this one? Find out the volume of first one. So this is what? Pi R squared. Times 10, that is 10 pi r squared is the volume of cylinder 1. What is the volume of cylinder 2? Pi times 2r squared. Okay, this is the radius, the real radius. I'm going to use a capital R. And times height. 
this is a 4i square, right? So it is actually 4 pi i square h. That's the volume of that I can use. So cross out. Pi is out. R square is out. Now we got over here. N equals 4h. H equal how much? Divided by 4 is what? 2.5. Okay? That is n. So number 36. For what value of x the function above defined? Already denominator before you cancel it out. Okay? If you have a common factor, do not cross out. Okay? Anyway, the common factor is zero, still undefined. So you have to solve this one. So x squared minus plus 4x plus 4 and minus 8x equals zero. Okay? So denominator that is undefined. This is like x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals zero. This way can be factored, okay? X minus two squared is zero, so X equals two, right? At this point, but X is two, denominator zero, okay? So two is the answer. So number 37 over here. That, that is the equation, right? The balance in the uh, account looks like this one. Okay, this is what came on the end time. If your end is one, it's gonna be one year, right? Okay. If you're Paid what two times every year? That is what. Uh, this is two, right? Okay, every six months. All right. Anyway, this is the equation. So he he deposited two thousand dollars, but R is four percent. The R is what point zero four. Okay, put this number in there. That is annual is n equals one. Okay, compound annual is n equals one. So R one. What happened to the balance? Okay, two. Thousand times one plus zero point four and times one is that two, right? So one point oh four. You can use your calculator, okay? Do not use by your hand. So one point oh four times two thousand. How much this one? Yeah, two thousand eighty dollars is that, okay? Number thirty eight. This time see the compounded poly, so n equals four, isn't it? So the amount is what two thousand times. 1 plus 0 0.04 over 4, but 4 times 1 is 4, right? That is what? Correct compound. So this is equals 4,000 times 1 plus 0 0.01 and to the 4, okay? This one equals in uh, 2,081, okay? How much difference? So that's the answer. Okay, we finished the all section for test 1, okay? So uh, uh, I'm going to unload the test 2, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video. Okay, I hope you guys uh, have like perfect score on your SAT exam. Okay.